Hi guys, Sweet Nails here back. I am doing my part two. It is the nighttime look. This is for the um, glitter swap in the eyes of the beholder. It is Miss Angie Nails swap. It's group swap. Still have time to join, so um, please do. This is my nighttime, so let's just get into it. I have here um, a Martha Stewart. This is the fluorescent orange. Okay to use some of that. Also from Martha Stewart, I have the fluorescent purple. And Martha, sorry, this is fluorescent fuchsia from a Martha Stewart. Okay. Now I have here uh, from the glitter glitterlovers.com um, the magenta strips. It's matte neon magenta. Also from GlitterLovers.com, I have the Baby Pink Glitter Strips. Also here from GlitterLovers.com, it's the Pink Fine Neon. Okay. It's got kind of like an orangey kind of hot pink to it. Okay, this is from um, the Glitter Source. This is part of their holographic um, sampler. It's a purple holographic. Okay, also from the glitter source, I'm using the lavender dots. It's a uh, 2 mm. We'll see if that's enough. From the glitter unique periwinkle hex 0.25 Okay, from the glitter source, I'm using the Crystal Raspberry 0.62 hex. This is my this is in my daycare um, daycare. This is in my daytime look as well, so I want to incorporate some of my daytime into my nighttime because I can. Okay, I'm gonna give it a stir here. what we've got so far 
me, I'm also adding um, from Glitter Unique. It's the matte grape hearts. Also some matte hot pink hearts. Also some sh um, shifting rainbow squares, 0.35. It's looking pretty. Okay, I also have from Glitter Unique the matte neon pink stars. And I think I might add a little bit more of this fluorescent orange. Okay. I definitely need some some dark in this. But what kind of dark are we going to do? That could work. Okay. I think this could work too. Okay. So I'm going to add some of the matte neon blue short slices. <clears throat> Pardon me, sir, I guess. All right. I may need more of that. And also some sapphire hexes in a .40. Okay, I love the way that blue is in there, so I'm going to add more of the blue and actually probably m more of both blues. So, it's the sapphire. Making a mess. And some more of the matte neon blue slices. Short slices, sorry. Take a look. All the fine glitters stick to the bottom. So far, so cute. Mm, but I'm not quite there yet. Not quite. Where are my winter white? Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna add some of this one. This is nice. All right. This is a white opal um, mix from Glitter Unique.
Ooh, pretty. I like it. Now, I'm thinking to put some black in this, but I don't want to. Um, so I'm not going to do that. But I am. It's looking nice. It's looking really nice. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some silver to this. Because we need a little glitz and glamour in our nighttime look. So I'm going to be using a silver hollow hexi and a 0.25. But very little of that. Okay. Yeah, I think that did it for me. Very cute. I hope you guys are liking this. Alright. So I'm going to this away so I can work. Okay. I have here my little bit of acrylic here to do a swatch for you guys. Get back in here. Okay. Look at how cute. I think I like it, but yeah, it's really cute, very, very cute, but it's not there yet. I need more of these hexes I find. It's not as dark. Actually, gonna put a couple more in to the actual acrylic as well, but just a dash. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think that's good. Do just one more swipe of this. Here. Yeah, I like the, the there's much more blue in there. Okay, that's it. So Maybe you guys can see it better on the white, not sure, but <laughs> that is the swatch for my nighttime look, and this is the picture I'm basing it off of, so yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Thank you guys for watching, and peace out.